Hello and welcome to another video at Ingestech. In this video, I'm going to discuss NPN transistor working mechanism, equivalent LED circuit, and some logic gate operation. So as far as the logic gate concern, I'm going to show the buffer logic gate, which is very straightforward. So basically, as long as you press the on button, the output, the, when the input is on, the output is on as well. The inverter circuit is otherwise when you press on button the output get off and vice versa when you press off button the output get on now first let's get introduced with the npn transistor LED circuit so ignore the left hand side of the circuit part so basically this is the this is the LED circuit so this is the positive pin of a 12 volt LED. As you can see, it's written plus here, but it's uh, barely visible. So basically, plus 12 volt going this way and connected here with a 450 ohm resistor going through the 3 pin of the transistor. So this is a TIP41C but any of the NPN transistor will work in this mechanism. So it has got 3P, base, collector, and emitter. So in our circuit, the ground of the LED will be connecting to the emitter, and the connection will be completed through this middle pin, which is called collector. What happened is this. These two pin, collector and emitter, they get connected they get short circuited only when you inject some voltage here in the first pin so here in this case i'm injecting from 10 volt through this 1000 ohm resistor and the circuit is completing so as long as imagine there is a button here so you're pressing the button and the circuit is getting on so this is the buffer circuit now I would like to design a circuit where you press the on button you inject some voltage to turn the circuit off that is very simple and easy so basically all you have to do is just bypass this 10 volt injection from here to the ground so the circuit should divert the 10 volt current current at 10 volt rather than going towards this red line red uh, cable it will be diverted to the ground and on that case we will deny any of the electricity to the LED and it will get turned off so simply so ignore everything at the left hand side so this is a complete circuit so if I just short circuit this part this plus with the ground as soon as I get the connection to the ground this LED will not get any of the electricity. No current will follow this to this LED. So this is all happening here. The same same mechanism I'll be doing using a MOSFET. So this is our MOSFET. Same NPN MOSFET. Difficult to see. But this is same batch MOSFET, but this one is TIP31C. Same like the other MOSFET, this one has three pin, base, base, collector, emitter. So what I'll do is, I will connect emitter, the third pin to the ground. As you can see, the third pin is directly connecting the ground and this ground then I will connect to here to bypass this current flow but this circuit will not work unless until you inject some current here the first pin so we will inject some current to the base in this case you can use a push button switch or any other connection method but in my case, I'm using this 
light dependent resistor so as you can see the third pin the first pin the base is connected through the light dependent resistor to the plus volt this light dependent resistor if you shed some light it reduces its resistance this, this is the way the connection will be established so you can see at the moment the whole circuit is connected as soon as I shed some light this light will go off even it will dim just watch So this is the way successfully we built an inverter circuit hopefully you will be able to use inverter circuit and different sensor in this way to control your project need if you need any further help please link at the comment box i will see you at next time thank you